This is bad, CB. They've been up there a long time. Units five, seven, and nine. This is Officer Tagwood. Officer Rivera is on the roof with the suspect. We got the building surrounded. Brooke, 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 Brooke. Stop, stop. Look, look, I'm putting the gun down. I'm putting the gun down. Don't come any closer. Look, I need you to come off the ledge. Just come towards me. What's taking so long? I wouldn't worry, CB. Officer Rivera is an expert negotiator. Don't do it. I'll do it. Don't do it. I'll do it. Don't do it. You don't know what it's like. What do you mean I don't know what it's like? You just killed 19 puppets. Everything's cool, life's cool. Bill like chill. Just come off the lead. Stay back. No, Brooke, Brooke, Brooke. Don't, don't, Brooke. Oh no. Oh no. Another victim. Welcome to One Shot Presents. I'm Joe Riviera. That's right, Rick's cousin. Anyway, for this week I have a two for Tuesday. The first book I'm gonna review is Uncanny X-Men 524 by Matt Fraction. In this issue, they're gonna bury Nightcrawler. That's right, he's dead. He sacrificed his life to save Hope. If you guys have been reading Second Coming, you know that Cable and Hope are back from the future trying to re-establish mutant kind. There's no more mutants and they're trying to bring the last mutant that was born back into the present. Anyway, Nightcrawler sacrifices his life. He goes up against Bastion, doesn't do too hot. Now, the only complaint that I would have towards this comic is if they bring Nightcrawler back. Kitty Pride is back, Colossus is back. Every time they kill an X-Men, they bring him back. And I think that that's kind of stupid, especially when the death is so heroic. Anyway, Terry Dotson's art is really cool. Matt Fraction's writing is really cool. Out of five, I'm gonna give it a four. Man, Tag was that nasty. Call in the cleanup unit. Anyway, for my second book, I've chosen Gotham City Sirens number 11 by Paul Dini. That's right, Paul Dini. He was involved with the Batman animated series. Great writer. Can't say enough about him. Now, for the series, you know, this is issue 11, so the first 10 issues were really strong. I really like it. But this one was a little weak, issue 11, but it's still cool. What it's about is Catwoman and Harley are out chasing a dog murderer. There's a surprise of who the murderer is. I won't let that go. And Poison Ivy has gone straight. Yeah, she's working for Star Labs. She's gonna be one of the top scientists. Yeah, she's still doing mischief, but at the same time, she is trying to change her identity. Anyway, she gets into a little bit of trouble, so check it out. The art's really fun. One of the reasons that I really like Gotham City Sirens is the fact that women characters are really strong. They're hot, they're smart, they catch the bad guys. It's been a really fun ride. Now, this issue, again, wasn't one of their best issues, but the 10 issues that preceded have been really good. So, out of five, I'm gonna give it a four. Hey everybody, this week I'm gonna review Jonathan Hickman's new Marvel series, Shield. Now, I think once before we reviewed Pox Romana on the show, and I'm actually a pretty big Jonathan Hickman fan. The, the problem with Pox Romana was I felt like it started off strong and then it kind of got buried under its own weight. I'm hoping that doesn't happen with S.H.I.E.L.D. What this series is about is essentially S.H.I.E.L.D. throughout the ages. It's kind of a national treasure type look back at 
S.H.I.E.L.D. is a secret society, you know, it starts off in ancient Egypt, you see it in the Renaissance times, and you see how it kind of evolves to the present day, you know, Nick Fury style S.H.I.E.L.D. But it's a lot of fun. I mean, the art is cool, and it just, it seems to play with the Marvel Universe in a way that's not so, you know, worried about continuity. It's just, it's just kind of out there to have fun. And, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty cool, like, to see the brood in the old days, you know, stuff like that. So, it, it's not really tongue-in-cheek, but it's just a lot of fun, if that makes sense. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this book a 4 out of 5. Uh, anyway, that's our show. Thanks for joining. We want to thank Nightflight Comics, the greatest sponsors in the world. We also like to thank Comics Nexus. They spread our love. And we'd like to thank you, the viewer. Now, if you guys don't mind, leave some comments, leave some suggestions. We'd like to know how we're doing. We'd like to know if we could do better or if we could do worse, whatever. You know, we just like to know that you guys are out there. We also want to thank you for that. But, you know, we need to know some information. So anyway, we'll see you guys next week. We'll do it from that end. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go. Okay. Okay. Great. Good. Or should we just have him get slapped? <laughs> just maybe like, maybe you like point in his face. Yeah, like, like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. I was rolling, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <that'd be> <laughs> what went?